Hello friends, in this video I will repair this uh, PC power supply. First of all, I have to tell you that uh, you can uh, repair uh, power supply like this more for fun than it worth it. Because uh, power supply is very cheap and uh, some, sometimes uh, you have to invest a lot of time in this job. I also have to know you that uh, this is my first uh, time when I use this new multimeter and if you want you can find in this playlist a review of this multimeter. First of all let's test this power supply. This tester tells me what kind of problem has this power supply. First of all, it should uh, power on uh, 5 volts standby, but uh, because this uh, LED is not uh, lighting, then I presume that this is the main problem. The usual uh, problem with this power supply is that uh, in most of the cases, these uh, capacitors are fat and uh, they are not in good shape and they are leaking. And uh, let me tell you how you can tell that. If the problem is with this capacitor, then uh, LED 5 volts stand by its lighting, then all that LEDs are lighting, but when you pu put a load, then uh, this power supply shuts down. That's how you can tell. Also, you have to be very careful with do these two capacitors because here it's high voltage. Now, let's check the PCB. First of all, let's measure the voltage here on high voltage capacitors. As you can see, here it's high voltage. So first thing that I have to do is to discharge these capacitors. Now let's measure again the voltage. Now it's not dangerous. Let's check if they are another high voltage capacitors. It seems not. Now I will visually inspect the PCB. So I've inspected the PCB and uh, I didn't found any problem. Now let's check the standby uh, step down module. I presume that this IC is TNI 27. It's the IC for standby voltage. So I will check the fuse of this IC. So I have to check it can be two problems or the power factor compensation that's the first uh, module or the standby power supply. First of all I will check this IC what are the connection? Where is the power on this IC? So you can see the pinout of this IC. The 5, 6, 7 and 8 pins are connected to ground. One pin is enabled. And uh, pin 2 is BiPi multifunction pin. Now, first of all, let's check the voltage on all pins. So, pin 1, pin 2. Now, let's check the voltage on uh, pin 4. Pin 4 should be 300 volts, the power supply. So, pin 4 is 2 volts. It's not good. That's 2 volts. That's the primary coil of the transformer. 
that's the other end and this should be a resistor to the plus this one we have one 1.5 volts and this here we have uh, 300 volts so it seems we found a problem this resistor is interrupted but uh, before i replace this resistor i have to check uh, this ic let's discharge again capacitors now let's check this resistor that's the green one so let's take it out this resistor should be a very small value 0 0.47 ohms let's measure it so this is burn but before i replace this i have to this is only for protection before i replace we have to measure on the diode mode first of all let's check in continuity mode between ground and pin 4 there is no continuity here let's check again on diode mode let's measure on the normal mode so we don't have a short circuit here you can uh, replace this resistor but uh, before that i will uh, make a test In, instead of this uh, resistor i will put a lamp classical lamp before i uh, make the lamp test i forgot to measure the secondary part of uh, standby transformer because it could be an explanation if there is a short circuit on secondary part then we'll increase the power consumption and the resistor will burn so this is the rectifier diode diode is good there's the output so we don't have any short circuit on secondary part now let's power on and make the lamp test now let's measure the voltage on uh, standby now let's measure the voltage after rectifier it's good now let's measure the voltage on the beginning of the lamp it's good now let's measure the voltage at the end of the lamp it's good now the voltage on the voltage on the fourth pin it's good now let's measure the voltage to the standby output and it's good we have five volts so it seems it's working let's put the tester to see what happens but let's turn this off we should wait until uh, this led it's uh, turn off because otherwise power supply will not power on now let's power on it seems the power supply it's working now now let's try this tester everything seems good 
Now let's replace this uh, resistor. So I replace this resistor with another one, the blue one. Now let's make the final test. As you can see, it's working perfect. After I will put uh, back in the case, I will uh, put the fan and I will make also the load test. But I can bet that this is working now. I have to tell you that usually it's more difficult to repair a power supply like this. But I can say this time I was very lucky. But I invite you to repair any power supply that we'll have. And if you don't succeed, you can uh, take, a par take the parts from them and reuse them. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please give a big like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.